Hello everyone, this is Wack Comics. This is Boo Bear coming at ya. How you doing, Teddy? Yeah, I'm alright. I'm not too bad, but to be honest, you know, I'm getting I'm getting sick of Wack Comics, okay? I'm getting sick of uh, Lee and Tyler. They're just, and there's so many other better YouTube channels uh, that have comic books, comic book themed YouTube channels. There's so many other better ones around, okay? Like, uh, what about Comic Book Doggo? It's time to step into the Doggo verse. Ooh, that's a good one. You know who I really like? Two Doggies Comics. They're really good. I, I've always been a huge fan of Dustin and Justin, but we all know that I am Team Fucking Nick. Ooh, yes. What about Dog Titus, Samurai Dog? I just discovered this guy. His name is Ninja Puppy Comics, and he does live sales where you can claim good, good books and all kinds of stuff. He gifted my friend an Invincible Compendium. We love to read that together. It's been so good. He's so nice. I love you, Nick. Can't forget about my fellow Aussie, Simple Doggo. Bark it simple. Oh, oh, I have a good one. You know who else is awesome? Uh, Doggy Awesome 316. It's literally in his name. He goes on with Bark Family all the time and talks about comic books. Oh, he's so fun. He's so cool. Not Near Treats is my favorite show on YouTube. Rule number one, don't die. Rule number two, don't bark like a dick. You know who I really like? Bark Family 54 Comics. Steve is really cool. He gives awesome interviews and he does some really cool reviews every week. But there's one thing I really don't like about him at the end. He always says, go cats. I really don't like cats. They're usually bigger than me. Bruce and Stephanie Doggos. Their haul and dog videos have been growing in quality like crazy. I also really like El Comic Pedroito. They're really cool. They always give great comic recommendations and they're muy ay, spicy. Ay, ay, ay. And dogs on the mind. You know you got dogs on the mind. That reminds me of another good one. Um, he always says treat responsibly at the end. He's got really cool hair. Oh, uh, Comic Tom. He's so cool. Treat responsibly, y'all. And very doggy comics. Bark at comics. Playtime with Beulah is really cool too. It's really nice to see somebody who loves comics for the stories. You can really tell he's in it for the stories. And then there's the channel that told Lee to start a YouTube channel of his own. Gem Treats Collectibles. Keep it treaty fresh. I bet your gem didn't know what he was starting when he told Lee to, to fucking have a go and go for it, eh? Oh, fuck me dead. All these channels' links are in the description. Go check them out. Holla! Boo Bear out. It's nap time. Mm-hmm. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold up. Who even are you two? It's too many Ds around here. Need more of the big C. More catters. Hi, I'm Castiel. Now, let's begin with a list as to why we are way more superior. First of all, have you seen our little paws? These cute things will cut, <laughs> I mean, pat you nicely when you try and touch our cute, floofy stomachs. Next, our pairs are the most soothing music to human ears. We use this as a way to get them to let their guard down. Sometimes this means we get more food. We usually get what we want due to being the cutest floof balls on the planet, and we know it. You may think that I sound a little bit up myself, but like, if you were this cute, wouldn't you be? Plus, look at us. Just, I mean, look at us. Can you guys do a big stretch like this? I think not. We are also not as evil as everyone says that we are. My owner definitely did not see me sniffing a snail, then five seconds later, walking away from a scene of a crime. You know what? It is finally time to end this debate once and for all. Cat versus dogs. We are going to war.